Well, do you remember where you were 17 years ago today? A Seattle woman remembers being locked down in a classroom with no idea why until she got home. In the very beginning, we just thought something had happened, that an ambulance was going past campus, but it was when they, they just they didn't stop. Whitney Moore was in a classroom on the Virginia Tech campus. And then there was this really loud alarm that we had never heard before, and it was kind of a, an over a loop recording of a man's voice telling us to stay inside. Classroom doors were locked, but Whitney says all they knew came from a text that there were gunshots between a man and woman. Her thought at the time... I didn't want to call my parents and make them, <laughs> make them worry. She and the others in her classroom stayed there. About uh, four hours. Finally, SWAT members escorted them off campus, where they would eventually discover a student went on a rampage. That student took his own life. 32 others were killed. One of Whitney's friends could have been among them. I found out later that one of my best friends, uh, who was on a school trip at the time in Pennsylvania, she was supposed to be in the next class. It's been 17 years since the tragedy at Virginia Tech. Whitney never imagined we'd still be talking about school shootings today. But it isn't that we get really good at preventing them, it's that we get really good at vigil. So she's choosing to focus today on what she can do to honor the memory of those lives lost by saving lives of others. She's lending her name as part of Bloodworks Northwest 1000 Thank Yous campaign, which calls people like Whitney heroes. She's using her story to fuel a massive blood donation event today. Uh, Bloodworks Northwest will let you take over a blood drive, so I've taken over the West Seattle Church of Latter-day Saints. And Whitney Moore encourages you to make an appointment to give blood and save a life. Instead of a helpless feeling on a day like today, she says it gives you a special power. Doing something that could really help people that are maybe a victim of gun violence or in a medical emergency or in an ongoing medical condition like cancer. What a nice way to honor those lost. No kidding. 17 years ago.